So Power World has dropped its first patch in regards to fixes for both PC and Xbox. It's a short but sweet one today guys, so let's go. Now before we do go any further, I am giving away a couple of copies of this game. To be in with a chance of winning them, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on, and winners will be announced in a couple of days. Good luck. Okay, so I originally planned to play this on Xbox, but had early access on PC, so just stuck it out and I'm playing on PC now. I am hearing Xbox is having quite a few issues um, in regards to the game freezing, not running right, multiplayer being buggy, this, that and the other. Now they have released a statement in regards to uh, bug fixes and changes to the game. We had a little statement from Power World on Twitter, which we're going to get into right now. So they state, Xbox update. Updates have been released for Xbox and Microsoft Store PC versions. This update fixes some of the previously mentioned issues. The following issues have been fixed and this is Xbox. When starting the game app, it goes black and cannot proceed further. Now that's all they stated by Xbox, but I know for an absolute fact, it's way more problems than that. Hopefully when you get this patch or this hotfix installed, a lot of the issues you console players are having do get resolved. They're then going to speak about Microsoft Store PC version. When starting the game app, it goes black and cannot proceed further. Controller is not recognized. Key guide display is not displayed correctly. And exit game button is not implemented. I play via Steam. I ain't had any of these problems whatsoever, uh, but that's not to say they ain't there. I am seeing quite a few issues with the game, but I do hope everyone is keeping in mind that it is still an early access game by a very, very, very small studio, and it is not the final product. So I do expect issues to arise here and there, and I do expect them to take quite a lengthy time to fix some of said issues. But yeah, for a small studio, the game we have so far is actually pretty good in my opinion. Uh, also news on the PS5, there's been a few things here and there, people mentioning rumours about the game being released on PS5, I've seen from numerous sources stating that this is not the case, it's never going to happen, uh, but hey, I do have good news for you PS players, as seen from Bucky, who is the community manager of Power World, he said the following. How World won't be on PlayStation, only Xbox and Steam. The thing is, this is an older tweet. He has since corrected this with a following statement. This old tweet is suddenly doing the rounds and apparently needs clarifying. So, the above posted said Power World may release on PS4, PS5, Xbox and PC. I replied that it won't be on PlayStation, which was and still is currently true. This was by no means a statement that Power World will never come to PlayStation. Please don't twist my words to perpetuate silly arguments. Thanks. So there you have it guys, it still may eventually come to PS5 and as I said I play on Xbox and PC but I think for the greater good in regards to gaming it would be much better if Power World was on all platforms and could be experienced by all gamers. I just think it just makes sense like that. But there we have it guys, again the latest patch has arrived today, hopefully it fixes out any issues you are having on Xbox and PC. I personally play my own world solo no multiplayer and i've had not a single issue in regards to freezing stuttering lagging or anything like that but i guess in the multiplayer sessions because i think they've just confirmed now that there's six million people have brought this game and there's concurrent users of 1.7 million people playing at the same time which is a record high so i can imagine the servers are taking a beating but like i said the game is still early access it's still running quite good for what it is and expect servers and things to get much better as time goes by but remember they're still a small studio so you gotta give them time in fixing certain things we gotta be patient people but there we have it guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one